I'm Ron and I'm back again, you know already. Today I'm discussing the two rumors that came out this week regarding transfers in for Toronto FC. Jonathan De Guzman coming to Toronto on a free and Victor Vasquez returning to Toronto FC as well on a free. I'll talk about them chronologically and the one I don't like the most is the one we got to talk about first because it came out on Tuesday, I think. Jonathan De Guzman... Sounds like he possibly can sign for Toronto on a free after leaving Eintracht Frankfurt this summer when his contract runs out. But when he's been playing at Eintracht Frankfurt, he hasn't played much. He's only played six times in the league in the past year and a half. He played a lot in the Europa League run, but they needed bodies. He's basically their fourth choice center defensive midfielder, seventh choice midfielder. He could play anywhere in the midfield, but he's mostly a central defensive midfielder. And he's also the guy who famously Judas Canada after 8-1 against Honduras at San Pedro Sula and rather would play for the Netherlands and ended up playing for them in the 2014-2014 World Cup. This guy, yeah, I don't want him near Toronto FC. If he's not good enough for Germany, he ain't good enough for us. You know how I feel about football. And that thought will be in the hot takes special tomorrow because nobody ain't sent me some hot takes. It sounds like you want me to make a fool out of myself with my hot takes instead of stuff you send me and if I agree with it or not. So there's a tweet on Twitter if you want to send me some hot takes, but it sounds like y'all want me to make a fool out of myself. So, at least for now, but when I get proven right, I'm not a fool no more, but I got to take the I got to take the rocks and the bullets first before I'm proven right, which is always the way this stuff goes. Um but if he's not good enough for Germany, he's not good enough for Toronto FC. And also the fact that he Judas Canada why Why would I want him at my club? Why do we want him at our club? This guy's a scumbag. He's a horrible player. He thought he could get over more with the Netherlands. He thought he was way too good for Canada, which that bit him in the butt because I think there's a lot more better players now than there were back then for Canada. So he he's missing the golden generation. But, but he could be like, but I could have played with Van Dyke. I could have played with Memphis. Or, I guess he did play with Memphis, but not Van Dyke. Um, and Robin. Iron Robin. He played with him. But, he's basically right at the tail end of the Netherlands golden generation. But he's going to miss the Canadian golden generation. Because how much of an idiot he is. Serves him right. Serves him right. Good job, you idiot. Get the hell out. I don't want to see you in Toronto red. Just stay in orange. Go play in Go play in the Netherlands. Go play for Ajax. Or do you think you're not good enough for Europe anymore? Oh, I got an idea. Go to Montreal, you... Judas. Had to... I was about to say POS, but, uh... I was about to say POS, but... Or more like POC, because I was going to use the PG version of it. But you know what? Whatever. No, you're just a Judas. Go to Montreal. That's what fits you. Wear blue and black. Wear that. You look a lot more fitting in those colors than red. Since you didn't want to wear it once, you, ain't can't, you can't wear it now. You ain't gonna wear it now and you can't wear it now. Get the hell out. I don't want you. And by the way, if they did get him, I know he could play anywhere in the midfield, but that's either gonna put Delgado on the bench or it's gonna stop Liam Fraser from getting the playing time he could get this year. Which is suffice it to say... F all, which is, suffice it to say, frickin' all, frick all, that's exactly what it is, nothing, because if they didn't start him against San Jose, and they only played him like, what, 20 minutes in that game, and he didn't get played at all at New York either, or against New York either, what makes you think he's gonna get any playing time when Bradley comes back and we can play football again, because remember, Corona, Bradley will be fit by the time football comes back, or at least this close. We could get past possibly one game without Bradley. I mean, we all di already did it twice. We already did it twice. Already did it twice. 
I think we can get through a third. If we need to. And Piotti will also be fit as well. So, yeah. Great. 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 I don't need somebody to log jam Liam Fraser. Because he deserves at least the chance of like the 10 minutes he's going to get a game. And if not, and maybe they'll put him in for Delgado. But that may not be that smart either. But everybody and their mother said Fraser was going to start those first two games or until Bradley got back. <laughs> no, he didn't. Even the club did. And then they basically bamboozled us. What? And he's just as good as Bradley right now, honestly. If I'm being completely honest, and yes... I did make that unpopular opinion tweet last week, saying that Fraser's at least as good as Bradley right now, if not, possibly better. But y'all don't want to hear that because cult of personality against or for Michael Bradley, especially after the Trinidad thing, y'all don't want to hear that. But you know what? I'm going to tell you at least the part that is okay for me to feel. I'm not going to say the full-on thing the riot act i'm not gonna read bradley the riot act because i'm not stupid i'm not that stupid to read him the riot act because even though you can't come to my house with pitchforks and torches because you can't drive eight hours you sure as hell ain't gonna listen to me anymore if i read him the riot act i ain't that stupid i ain't that stupid i could say fraser is better and i respect bradley as a player but if i read him the riot act not smart at all that's the one thing I can't do. The one thing I cannot do. The one thing I cannot do. I can be horny on Maine on Twitter and say some dumb stuff, but if I read Bradley the Riot Act, boom! Done. I'm not stupid. But I just alluded to it, but still. Eh, whatever. Do without what you will. Do without what you will. Now, let's get to the Victor Vasquez rumor. Victor Vasquez may return to Toronto on a free. He said it himself on the Footy Talks podcast with KJ Caldwell and Wildman. He said it himself. He wants to come back to Toronto. And as well, he also said he has not been hurt since he's played in Qatar, since he left for Qatar. Has not been hurt. So what will that do for our team? If we're getting the old Victor Vasquez, the Victor Vasquez we had back in 2017 and some of 2018, that'll be a great return. If we get the Victor Vasquez that is a little bit less better than the one we let go, that may not be good. But he could still be a great impact sub for Pozuelo at least. Now, do I want to see him start more if he comes back? Yes. Now, I love this. I love this. I love this. I want Vasquez to come back. And I definitely will get his name put on that throwback jersey from 2017 that I just got off MLS store a couple of days ago when this when this pandemic quarantine is over because I got to take it to Soccer Master up the road and then let them send it in to uh, customize it because you couldn't customize it over MLS store. So I got to wait till this is over and they reopen. Which will at least be a month, because Pritzker, I wish I was in Missouri. I think they do have some locations in Missouri, but that's probably not a good idea. I'll just wait. Screw it. I'll just wait. Screw it. But Victor Vasquez, even if he doesn't come back, I'm still going to get it uh, customized for him. But he's a great player. I'm happy to see that he wants to come back to Toronto. He should come back. I'd love to see him back in red. I think he would do well with the team coming back in a midfield with Bradley and Pozuelo. Put either Oso or Delgado to the bench. Maybe not every game, but at least every other, every three games. And maybe a couple of substitution appearances. More like a Benoit Sheru. Play for two more years, or one and a half, and then retire and coach for the academy. Like Sheru did at first before he left back to France. I would love to see that would be a great thing for Vasquez. I think that's what he wants as well. I'd love to see it. Be great. And maybe he could could even 
give even more tips to Pozuelo. Give even more tips to Pozuelo. So, I'm down with Vasquez coming back. I love it. He will make this team better, I think. He will still have some of the quality that he had back in 17, and he would definitely make this 2020 team better. So, I'm happy with it. So, in final summation, De Guzman, no. Judas De Guzman, no. Victor Vasquez, yes. So, if you like this video, like it, share, subscribe. You know what it is. Tell all your friends. Tomorrow, I got a hot takes episode coming for you. Fresh piping hot takes. As hot as some Timbits for you. I'm Ron and I'm out. Peace.